iTunes gives you two easy ways to sync music to your iPod, automatically or manually. Over the next few minutes, I'll show you how to do both. This tutorial applies to iPod Nano and iPod Classic. To start syncing music, simply connect your iPod to your computer using the included USB cable or the optional Apple Universal dock. A USB port on your computer will look similar to this. By default, iTunes will open automatically. Your iPod shows up in the Devices section of the source list on the left. If you choose to automatically sync all of your music, you will need enough free space on your iPod to hold your entire library. If your iPod does not have enough space, iTunes will automatically create a playlist that fits the capacity of your iPod. The capacity bar at the bottom of the iPod Preferences window shows you the amount of free space in your iPod. Make sure your iPod is selected in the Devices section. Then click the Music tab in the iPod Preferences window. Then click the Sync Music checkbox. You can choose to sync all of your songs and playlists, or selected playlists. Any music added to your iTunes library or selected playlists will automatically sync to your iPod every time you connect it to your computer. Podcasts can also be automatically synced to your iPod. Select the Podcasts tab and choose to sync all podcasts or selected ones. You can also choose which episodes to sync, based on if they are recent, new, or unplayed. When you are finished, simply click Apply. iTunes will begin syncing your music and podcasts. iTunes will display the progress and notify you when the iPod sync is complete. To eject, simply select your iPod in the source list, and then click the Eject button. You can also sync music manually to your iPod. Make sure your iPod is selected in the Devices section, and select the Summary tab in the iPod Preferences window. Then, select the Manually Manage Music and Videos checkbox. This feature deselects the automatic sync settings and lets you drag music directly from your library onto your iPod. Click Apply, and now you can manually sync your iPod anytime you like. To manually add music to your iPod, choose Music under Library in the source list. In the iTunes browser window, select and drag items to your iPod icon in the source list. You can also manually add playlists by dragging a playlist from the source list directly to the iPod icon. To choose multiple items, Command-click Items on a Mac or Control-click Items in Windows. When manually syncing your iPod, disk use is enabled, so you must manually eject your iPod in iTunes before disconnecting it. Select your iPod in the source list, and then click the Eject button. For more tips, iPod manuals, and much more, visit us at apple.com slash support slash iPod.